trying to figure out if I'm actually special to Zoe. You feel what I'm saying? Special? Yes. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to our channel. My name is Gage. And I'm Zoe. And real quick though, if you know the channel, scroll down, hit that subscribe button and join the team. But I know y'all can see the title and that's why you clicked on this video. This is kind of an old challenge, but we're bringing it back. We're reviving it over here on Gage and Zoe. You feel what I'm saying? So we're not gonna waste too much of your time with the intro. Yeah, man, that's what it is. Straight into the video, your ex versus me challenge. Zoe's gonna start us off. I promise not to get upset, but I might though. Uh, uh, we had a lengthy discussion before we even turned the camera on, and I'm kind of already in a mood. Uh, so oh it, no. is, it is what it is though. So let's get it. My first question is very, we're starting, we're just easing in. You know? All right, cool. Like we're just dipping our toes in the water. Did you ever, <laughs> did you ever call your ex like cute nicknames and like that kind of stuff? <laughs> And I want to know what they were. You want to know what they were? Yeah. Because <laughs> oh, I had a feeling you already oh. did. <laughs> oh, man. I mean, not if they, like, have her name in them or something no. like that. No. But to answer your question, uh, yeah, I did have little pet names <laughs> for my ex. The main one, the main one was Baby Girl. Um, I very rarely said anything other than that. I mean, we might have had a, a few here and there. Honestly, I, none of them really stand out because, like I said, that was the main one. Mm -hmm. Was baby girl. Like, any time, like, you know, if we were talking on the phone or something like that, that would be the thing. So, yeah, that's it. The, you know, that's the one. That's the one. Yeah. Uh, so. Uh -huh. Don't act like I ain't got cute. <laughs> They're not really cute. But I know. I They're not. Names. I got pet names for Zoe. We're not going to get into those. Go ahead. Here we go, dude, because I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out. I'm trying to figure out if I'm actually special to Zoe. You feel what I'm saying? Special. Yes. I need to know if you do things for me that you ain't never done for anybody in the past. Okay? Question number one for me. Did you ever make your ex breakfast in bed? No. We want for one. <laughs> I'm special. Yeah. I'm special. Okay? Zoe does things for me, and she ain't done for no other man. I don't even think... So that's what's up. I don't even think I actually, like, cooked a meal meal for any of my exes. Damn. Ever. Damn. <laughs> if you want me to be honest. Y'all missing out, bro. Zoe can throw down in the kitchen. And if you watching this, and you Zoe's ex, <laughs> your fault. <laughs> Question number two, man. By the way... This sweater is popping. Let's go. Okay. Did you ever stay the night at your ex's house or vice versa? Well, here's the thing. We, me and this girl, we, I mean, it was in high school. So already, like, that kind of thing didn't really happen. But truthfully, to answer your question, it's yes she did spend a night at my house one time i'm not going to get into the reason why but because that's personal to me and it's not anything like don't be thinking oh it's not like, because i already knew about that one time there there was one time that where she did but it was it was for something there was a there, there was like 14 people staying at your house that yeah night. man but uh, but yeah, tr the, the truthful answer is yes, she did, but it was for a very, very special circumstance. Um, outside of that, no. Like I said, we it was in high school, so that kind of thing didn't really happen. We were, I mean, I you know, I was with her during my mid-teen years, like from well, 14 to 17. Some teenagers in high school did as well, you know. They were a little bit crazy or something. Oh no, I'm sure. Like I'm sure there's some crazy ass children out there and crazy ass parents who let their hey. high school sons and daughters sleep over at their boyfriends and girlfriends' house. Not in my house. Let me tell you something. My future children, because you will watch this video eventually one day in the future, a long time from now. Ain't no sleepovers. 
Not with no boys or girls. Not your boyfriends or girlfriends. Ain't, <laughs> ain't no sleepovers. Alright, man. Once again, I'm trying to figure out how special I am. Did you ever, did you ever buy your ex tickets to his favorite sporting event? Uh, I mean... Think carefully, Zoe. <laughs> Think carefully. In high school, to like a high school sporting event. Oh, you super trash, bro. You really missed out. Uh, that's about it. You double trash. Anyway, that was it. Don't worry, my question's finna get, they finna, they finna take off. Oh. They finna take off. Wait on it. I apologize if y'all see me keep looking off to the side. I'm watching a soccer game over here. My fault. Okay, anyway. By the way, you made it this point in the video, you a real one. Scroll down, hit the subscribe button if you haven't joined the team. Thank you. My next question is kind of a multi-question right, cake. Did you and your ex ever talk about like the future and having like a family slash hey. did you ever name any of your potential kids it's fine i have a similar question to the one you just asked me but we're gonna wait on it uh to answer your question yes um so uh, my ex and i we did talk about the future we did talk about possibilities, past high school, past college, those types of things. Interestingly enough, I can't recall offhand, and I may just be forgetting, but I can't recall where we specifically talked about children. There was a time in my life, especially in high school and very early in college, like my freshman year, where I did not want children. Um, and that was, just, that was my outlook. So honestly, I don't think we ever talked about kids. And if we did, we definitely didn't sit down and like brainstorm names for them. Never that. Because like I said, that was a point in my life where I was like, nah, I don't even want kids. Mm -hmm. So I can't specifically remember conversations where that topic came up. Uh, but we did talk about the future. Talked about like marriage and stuff like that. It came up. We were together for four years, man. Which by the way... Me and Zoe, in May, that'll make hot damn 47. <laughs> How many will it make, Gage? Four. Yes, it will. Yeah, man. All right, man. So, this is kind of a funny one. Kind of, maybe. I don't know. We'll see how funny Zoe is. You might have to put some thought on this one, Ozo. Um, so, what's one thing that you say to me that you could still today say to your ex with me in the room. Like, what's one thing that you could say to your boyfriend that you could also say to your ex? Um. Well, something that you say to me that you could say to your ex. Matter of fact, I want y'all to comment. What is one thing that you tell your boyfriend or girlfriend today that you could also tell your ex? Okay, here's something I could say, but <laughs> you may not want me to say. Did you get a new car yet? <laughs> I don't know. Are you talking shit about my truck? Yeah. What's wrong with my truck? It's fine. I just know that you want a new one. What's wrong with my truck? You said you want a new car. Everybody wants a new car. What's wrong with my truck? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> That's disrespectful. Hey, hey, it's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I come take it back. None of y'all had good cars. She disrespected my truck, man. My truck gets me from point A to point B. That's what it's supposed to do. Sometimes it doesn't do that, though, because I gotta jump it. Facts or facts? 
<laughs> point A to point B, man. Can't go from point A to point B if it don't start. Whatever, next question. <laughs> Did you ever buy your ex jewelry slash... Did you ever buy your ex a promise ring? Yes and no. Yes to the first part of the question, no to the second part. Um, Good answer. I did, I did get her a ring, but it wasn't like, it wasn't a special ring. To be honest with you, it might have been one of these little cheap ass rings my mom used to keep in a closet downstairs in my house. My mom used to collect this. Oh my god! This, you just ratted yourself out. This cheapo ass jewelry, and I know she knows what I'm talking about because my mom is watching this. This cheapo ass jewelry, and I'm pretty sure I gave that to her one time. But no, I would say probably the most. <laughs> probably the most romantic. Uh, I mean, she never wore it, cause, but anyway, um, the most like I guess romantic because you asked if I got her a promise ring because I did get Zoe a promise ring. So I would say like in terms of presentation, like romantic or something like that, like the nicest piece of jewelry I got her was a necklace. And I'm pretty sure it was for a birthday. Might have been for an anniversary. It was one of them too. All right, so, so if Zoe answers incorrectly because yes, there's an incorrect answer to these questions. Whatever. It's gonna be some problems. No, there's so y'all gonna see y'all gonna see it first. <laughs> Have you cried over your ex since we've been together? I'm trying to go all. The I'm way back. not liking this hesitation. No, Zoe. I'm trying to literally go back in time. I'm not liking this hesitation, dog. No. I don't like <laughs> the doubt. With which you just said, no? You better think real hard. Okay, 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 okay. So. I'm waiting. <laughs> they are waiting. No. We want to know. No. I don't like the hesitations that we used in that answer. No. 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 So, did you cry over him or not? No. Alright, cool. Then we can move on. Next question. Next question. What's something your ex did for you that I do not do for you that you liked? <laughs> I'm going to be honest with y'all. And I'm not saying this just to try to be, I've answered all of these questions 100% honestly and to the best of my knowledge. I'm not just saying this because I'm currently in a relationship with Zoe. There is nothing that my ex did for me positively that Zoe has not done and done better. Um, there are things that Zoe does for me now that my ex never did for me. So... The answer to that question is nothing. And I'm, I'm so sincere when I say that, like, because when I think, like, okay, so I'll give you an example. Like, when you think of, oh, she would write me cute little notes or she would uh, buy me, a, you know, some surprise little gift or surprise me somewhere, show up to, like, my locker or something because we were in high school. Like, Zoe does all of those things, but it's in a different context, because obviously we're not in school, but like, it, but she does those things. Like, she'll show up to my work and like bring me lunch or something like that, unannounced. She made me breakfast in bed one day. Like, you know, like there are, th it's just, because it's just different. Like, but when it comes to like those little small, like tokens of appreciation, I guess you could call them. Like, no, Zoe does all of those things and she does them better. Uh, it's just like, <laughs> it, I mean, I'm not, I'm not here to talk shit. Like, I'm not, you know, I'm not, I don't, I'm not, I'm not using this platform to like try to. I mean, I doubt that to try you to watch it, but if you are watching this and you know who you are, hey, I appreciate the love. If you subscribe to the channel, you know what I'm saying. We appreciate it. All right, final question, man, and it's kind of similar to ones Zoe asked me earlier, but I want to know. 
and I'm sure y'all want to know. Did you ever tell your ex that you would marry him? Like, tell him that I want to marry him one day? Yes. No to that one for sure. I don't think so. I don't think I ever said... Did you ever talk about getting married? Not like it didn't have to come out of your mouth like I'm going to marry you one day. <laughs> but like I talked about the future with one ex in particular. But I did talk about like The crazy thing about it is just for y'all watching. And again, if you made it to this point of video, you a super real one. I appreciate it. Scroll down and comment. I'm a real. The funny thing about this is is Zoe and I actually have or had personal relationships with each other's ex. <laughs> with, <laughs> like, with our most recent exes. Yeah, most most recent. Yeah. Um, and to be fair, I would think that those were also, before each other, our most serious relationships. The funny thing about it is, is like, it's funny when we talk to each other about each other's exes because we both know each other's exes. Yeah. Like, now we're not like friends with them or anything like that, but... We were. Uh, uh, maybe one day. Maybe one day. Maybe one maybe day. Maybe one day when we got millions of subscribers, we'll tell y'all about... But how we uh, how we came to be but our maybe clear some things up because there might even be some people out there to this day who don't know what happened probably not rumors and shit you probably y'all believe anything man mm -hmm. but uh it's not as crazy as you think um it's a beautiful love story what the f what was the question i have talked about the future did you talk about me? I don't want. I don't want to hear the words "the future." I want to. Did you talk about marriage with your ex? Probably, but I don't think it was ever as extensive as like what we talk about. I think I probably. I'm getting. <laughs> okay, I just remember. U.S. scored, bro. Anyway, what? I'll I'll give you an example. I just I'm getting hot, Zoe. I remember you are. She's okay. I just remember in high school, the guy that I dated basically all through high school. We would talk about like basically what you were saying before. We would talk about after high school if it would last through college because he was older than me. He was already in college while I was still in high school, and so what? <laughs> Zoe was wild, bro. No, I wasn't. Anyway. I was in high school and he was in college. Well, early. when we first started dating, we were both in high school. Anyway. She wild, bro. So we would talk about the future in the sense of like, is this going to work? Like, what are we going to do? Like, do we see it becoming marriage eventually? I think the, the whole point of dating is to eventually get married. So I'm sure that was kind of brought up maybe. <laughs> hey, you said you talked about marriage. I was in, you know what? High school. You know what? This ain't my question. It's your question. I asked you. Well, who you gonna marry? Stop trying to... Well, who you gonna marry now? Who you gonna marry now, Gage? <laughs> who you gonna marry now? That's the important question. Chill, bro. Chill, chill. That's the important bro. question. I'm in a relationship, you feel me? I can't. Yeah. Bro. But yeah, man, that's it. That's gonna wrap our video right there. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you slap that thumbs up button, like, comment, share, subscribe, do all of that good stuff. Join the team. It's 2019, so you know we take it over. Don't forget to click the description box right. down below and follow us on all of our social media. And if you are my ex and you are watching this video, hey, I appreciate the views, man. And if you're not subscribed, you, even you can subscribe to the channel. I'm not hating. I'm not discriminating. As long as you're joining the team and showing love, we all good. That's, that's, that's how it is. 
I mean, we not all good, but we, you know what I'm saying? We good. <laughs> you go, we, stop talking. We good. we good on this side. That's a wrap, dude. We appreciate all the love and support. And we out, man. What we tell them, Zoe? We will see you next Friday. We'll see y'all next Friday, man.